All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing at 30. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 crime drama film called Desperation Road. Now here's the plot. Set in a tough and tumble Mississippi town where a woman and her daughter are caught in the crossfire when whiskey, guns, and the desire for revenge finally interrupts. Now here is the cast. Now this film definitely had raw feel to it. From the look of the quality to the feel of the story. Fits perfectly for the two intertwined rough stories we got. As much as as comfortable as uncomfortable as I was with the set up scene, they did a great job putting you in the feels from the young woman's young mother's world of point of view for the start of the emotional story. The actress that played the mother and the actor that played the main guy had such great acting, each portraying such deep different motions throughout their scenes. It was very captivating. You could really feel their pain. Bill Gibson was, of course, great in this, in his role this time around. Wasn't over the top this time when it came to uh, the the series I did, um, Continental. Um, he was a little bit overboard with that, but for the most part, and just like this and this, he's really, you know, really good, solid, everything, you know, doesn't overdo it. Uh, but the two actors stood out more than him, in my opinion. The story writing was solid. They did a good job of hiding main parts in the story while building the character's relationship up. It definitely took me off guard when it was revealed. And because of the build-up and the chemistry of the two actors, it made it more impactful. Now here's my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. Now I would also like to point out the actor that played the guy, uh, long-haired guy, uh, did a great job as well, portraying a drunk going through the motions. Lots of emotions throughout the film. Such a better film than I thought it would be going into it. I highly recommend it. It's definitely great from beginning to end. But either way, what are your guys' thoughts? If you saw it, you didn't, let me know your thoughts. Um, this is portrayed, this is labeled as a thriller. Um, it is not a thriller. It is a, in my opinion, or a kind of close to beyond opinion, um, is a crime drama, but mostly way more drama. And the story was definitely, definitely very solid in my opinion. Definitely the acting was great. The only actor that I have a problem with that was definitely phoning it in was the small scenes of a child or a teenager boy. Uh, his definitely was the only thing I had a problem with. Everything else was great. Um, a lot of practical effects. Um, I couldn't see any CGI, so that's very great. Um, and again, this is an independent film, if I haven't said it. Uh, for an independent film, fantastic film. I again, highly recommend it. Now, I'm hoping to have the have energy to put something out Monday, but we'll see. So I'll keep you in uh, a update on that but um in the meantime remember i love you all please stay safe spread love most importantly skull